So this demonstration is about how to use crayons to develop highlights and shadows in a drawing. I have a setup of a pear that is being hit by a light source and you can see it's highlight shadows and it's cast shadow. So I want to take a moment just to look at my setup and notice where the highlights are. There are some highlights right here on the pear. The left side of the pear in my picture should be shadowed. So these areas should be darker. I need to also consider um, the stem of the pear, how there is one side that is lighter, one side that is darker. And I also have to notice the cast shadow. So I'm going to start by lightly laying colors in the right side of my pair, and I'm also going to put some on the left side, but knowing that I'm going to work over top of those later. So I, don't work, I want to work lightly at first so I don't get rid of those highlights. You can always make your colors darker later. So start light, then work darker. should constantly be shifting between your picture and your setup so that you can keep looking for the colors and the values in your object. I'm going to add some purples for my shadows. harder to make it darker and lighter to get those values to change. Before I go any further on the pear itself, I'm going to add some color to the stem and the cast shadow to start developing those areas. Developing the highlight inside.
because the cash shadow is a lot darker than the bottom of the pair. Cash shadow looks lighter in this area. Make sure that your cast shadow always touches and goes underneath your object because the object is sitting on a surface so the shadow is going to start at the surface and there's a little bit of a shadow that comes up here for the step. I can add a color in the background if I want to and I can make it any color I want. If you keep going over an area that you're coloring in different directions, it helps make it look less scribbled and more smooth. Also, if you want to make an area darker, the more you go over it, the more darker it will get. It looks pretty good. I see the shadows, the darker side. Lighter side, I might just go back and make the shadows a little darker. I'm gonna go over that highlight area there. There, if I make the areas around those darker, it will make those highlights stand out some more. just going to add a little bit of green or yellow in my cash shadow because I see that it's reflecting. It looks a little yellow. And there is a crayon drawing of a pair with highlights, shadows, and a cast shadow.